Good morning, guys, and welcome back to a new vlog. I'm so happy to see you here. So, as you can probably tell, I we had to get a new coffee maker. Um, our other one just broke. I think if we just used it so much, it just broke. So, we got this beautiful red coffee maker. Same exact type of Keurig um, coffee maker as before. Just, um, we picked a color, and we, but me and husband both agreed on red. So, yeah, th I'm so uh, glad to have y'all here. Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, how are you doing? So, enjoying my coffee. Whew. So, this is the last Tuesday I'll have to myself in a very long time. Um, the girls last, this is the girls last week of school. The last uh, day of school is this Friday. And I just dropped my husband off at a job um, that he does every Tuesday. So I am completely, well, I'm not really completely alone. I have three cats here. But as far as people go, I am alone. I'm loving it. I love my alone time. Clarity to think. I feel like I clean better. I just do my housework better when I'm all alone. Let me know if you feel me. I'm sorry if the lighting's not that good. So it has been has it been like over 10 days since I vlogged? Yes, I just uploaded a video that vlog, but that vlog was done before the day, mostly was the, it was Mother's Day weekend. That was when that vlog was actually filmed. So I haven't actually filmed a vlog in over, uh, I don't know, over a week. So yeah, anyway, yeah, I was kind of up in the air if I should vlog again or not, but y'all encourage me so much to just keep going with vlogs and just kind of update people update you on how i'm doing for those that care i know not everybody care if you don't care just shut off because um i'm not everybody's cup of coffee <laughs> i know they say cup of tea but i'm gonna say cup of coffee uh, anyway i hope y'all are doing well it is last day of last week of school like i said and i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna kind of update y'all um throughout the video about some new things that's going on in our house or that's that's going on but first of all I'm gonna read from the devotional I like having these in my vlogs I like it when other people read devotional type stuff or encouraging word on their vlogs uh, they're, they're, I've seen it from a few other people um, but yeah this just really encourages me and yes so it has a word of encouragement on one side and when it has a bible verse on the other and it is not dated like there's doesn't go by like a certain date it's just wherever you turn and i, I don't know i may start to start from the forward sometime and just go you know from front to, to the very end but i'm just gonna just and you know nothing happens by accident nothing is an accident i really truly believe that so uh and it's just crazy because the other day, one of my daughters was having a rough time, just a rough week. We were both having a rough week and mentally, mentally, yeah. And I turned it to a page and that word of encouragement was definitely for what we were going through at the moment. So do not doubt that God doesn't know what you're going through because he really does. And yeah, so I'm just going to pick okay just wherever it landed okay so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the picture first i love that it has a pretty picture looks like it is the sea a little boat very pretty every picture is different so this is called says healed strong and whole 
Okay, may Jesus lift you up and make you strong. May he heal those hidden areas that surface time and time again. May he bring wholeness and health to your mind, body, and spirit. May he strengthen you and fill you with faith so, you dare, so you'll dare to take risk he puts before you. May you take time in his presence so you'll remember how strong and mighty he is. And may your day be filled with sacred moments that remind you just how precious you are to him. You are so dear to his heart. Okay, and the Bible verse is, Dear friend, I hope all is well with you and that you are as healthy in body as you are strong in spirit. That is so big. Um, chapter 3, John, oh, John 1, 2, NLT. I don't know. That was kind of confusing to read that. This is, I'll go ahead and show you up close. Yeah, very encouraged. <coughs> usually, so usually after I read this every morning, most mornings, or sometimes I'll forget or I have a busy morning and I won't sit down with my cup of coffee and read this. Uh, but usually after I'm done with this, I'll go ahead and just pray um, to the Lord, whatever's going through in my mind, whatever, you know, for the day, for my kids, whatever's going on. Um, and I have prayed here before here on camera. I don't feel led to do that today, but yes, I've got so much to do as far as house housework and just different things. I'm going to go ahead and make my to-do list. I've already done a few things. Um, like when I came back from taking the kids to school, I unloaded the dishwasher. There was a sink full of dishes because yesterday uh, my husband's off on Monday. So that's like our family day. We went to Pizza Hut last night and I just left the dishes in the sink and, you know, spent, watched a movie with my husband, spent time with him because we don't get that much time together because he works a lot. So I got my little to-do list here and I'm not going to like, and I'm not going to like show y'all exactly what I'm doing every second of the day, of course. I'm not going to even show you every, um, me, I'm not going to film me actually doing all these, but I just thought you may like to see what all I'm going to put on my to-do list to get done today. So, and don't feel bad if you can't accomplish everything. Like, that is so okay. Yeah, and I'm, I just thought I would go ahead and do one more vlog at least before school ends because I feel like it's really hard for me to vlog when the kids are home and my husband's, well, not so much my husband, but because some of my daughters, sometimes they don't like to be on camera. Abigail more so, but Penelope really doesn't. So, and she's home with me during the summer. So, you know, I've got to respect that. So there may be more like hauls in the summertime than there are vlogs. Um, but yeah, just FYI. I'm going to make my to-do list. Okay, I think I need a, I need a charge. The lawn lower battery because I have an electric um, lawnmower and yeah that takes like four hours to charge I need to like really mow the backyard the backyard's bad because we got some rain and oh I need to wash um, the bath towels yeah it's been a, yeah oh. yeah and I need to wash um, bed sheets. Okay, I'll go to gym. Yeah, I go to gym. And you know what? I think I might film what's in my purse video. Ask it. It's hard to hold the camera with one hand and. Okay, charge the lawnmower battery, wash bed, wash bath towels, wash bed sheets, go to the gym, film. What's my first video? Tonight we're having hamburgers for dinner, so that's an easy dinner. Um, oh yeah, well, mow backyard. Okay, this is what I got so far. I think this is a... Uh, and who knows if I'll accomplish. I usually accomplish most things on my list. Um, so, yeah, that's a lot of stuff anyway so far. So, 
we'll just see. Hey friends, what is up? So, it is the next day. It is Wednesday, May 22nd. Um, yeah, I did not f keep vlogging yesterday after I talked to y'all. Um, I got everything to do on my to-do list yesterday, except I didn't mow the yard. I just didn't feel like it because I did go to the gym and I pushed myself a little harder than usual. I actually started to run on the treadmill instead of walk fast. So, yeah, I was like, no, I'm not going to mow the... I don't have the energy because <laughs> my energy like just spurts out. Like by, by the time the kids get home, I just don't... I don't have much energy left. So, anyway, now I'm about to go to... Um, so, I got a new doctor, like PCP, is that what you call her? Um, anyway, I found out, because I only go to the doctor, what, like twice a year for like just checkups. I have high blood pressure just to like refill my high blood pressure stuff and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I found out that my doctor that I had, she moved, which I'm really bummed about because I really liked her. Like... I really connected with her. We had so much in common. We're around the same age. Um, we both lost a parent, and so we really connected on that level. And I don't know. I always felt like when I went to her, I wasn't just seeing, like, a doctor. I was seeing, like, a friend. And I just felt, I kind of felt like I got counseling. It's so weird to say because me and her would, like, just sit and talk about other stuff. So, anyway, it's a bummer that she's not there. They just... um Gave me a new doctor. I haven't met her yet. But anyway, they called and told me, since it's been a while since I did lab work. Lab work meaning they need to draw my blood. I have to pee in a cup. I have to do a urine test to see if I have diabetes, high, how, high cholesterol, all that stuff. Um, I, last year, I think it was more than a year ago, they said... It had been a while since I'd taken any labs because the last time I did take labs, I was on the verge of being diabetic. I was pre-diabetic, so um, I have changed some things in my health since then. Like I'm, I'm definitely not drinking as many cokes as I used to. I drink if I do drink coke, it's usually Coke Zero, and I drink I drink a lot of water anyway. I'm not a person that hates water. I actually like water, and yeah, I just don't eat it. I do eat sweets from time to time, but I, I really have cut down a lot. But anyway, and they told me to fast, to not eat anything this morning before I come in. Don't eat anything after midnight, which that's not a problem for me because I'm not a, lately I'm not a big breakfast person. So, yeah, I'm fine. I'm not a big breakfast person. <laughs> lately I'm not. So anyway, I'll just eat, eat after this and, um. Just drinking lots of water, so I'm gonna be so I'm gonna be able to take this urine test, and that way they can um, test my cholesterol and stuff. And hopefully, I think I think everything should be fine. I don't know. I don't think I'm diabetic, but anyway, you just gotta test for those kind of things, I guess, because I was on the verge last time. So yeah, that is what I'm doing today. Not much going on besides that. Besides maybe a little housework. I don't know. And I just like woke up today and I was just like, man, I really didn't do too much on that blog yesterday. And I don't really know if it's too exciting because it's a lot of me just talking. But, um, yeah, I will catch, catch up with y'all later. Hey, everyone. So, as a lot of you know, this is Shadow. Abigail named him Shadow. So, if you've been watching my vlogs, you've probably seen him. His fur just went up my nose. Okay. Um... There's always cat hair flying around here. Um, Y'all probably have seen him in some of my vlogs. And he just wandered into our backyard one day um, a couple of months ago. And look at him. Like, he likes to be held for the most part. And um, anyway, my husband just really felt... We all love him, but my husband really has an attachment towards him. So anyway, we just thought we would make him an inside cat. Um, so the difference between him and our other cats, he does have claws, but he's pretty good. I don't really see him scratching anything much here. He gets along with the other cats. So we've had him inside for like a week now, and he's done pretty good. He he had a couple of accidents outside of the litter box, but for the most part, he's he's a good boy, and he's um 
Yeah, he just, he's really chill. He's a really chill cat. Like, he doesn't get upset. He's very, and you can tell he's looking out the window right now. Um, he likes to watch the birds and probably, I mean, he probably misses being outside a little bit because he used to roam and stuff. But so we, but I gave him a, um, see, if it was one of my other cats, hold, um, I was holding him, that would be want to get out right now, but he's not even trying to get out. He's just looking out the window. Um, yeah, look at all the birds. Um, but anyway, we just decided to make him an inside cat. We, so he's done, like I said, he's done pretty good. Um, I did give him a bath, um, with some Dawn dish soap. That's just the safest thing to give him a bath in. And then he smells so good because, uh, his tail's real fluffy and he had like some stickers and stuff in his tail that he, cause there's a lot of weeds and stuff in the backyard. So, and I didn't want him to give the other cats, um, fleas or anything like that. So I'm going to put him down just so he can, what do you want to look at here? He likes to look up at the window. You want to look up here? He likes to get on this ledge right here in the laundry room, don't you? So yeah, look, he's kissing y'all. He just kissed the phone. So yeah, he's he's really, sorry, you're seeing all our stuff. Uh, yeah, look how much my husband has stalked Cokes right here. It's crazy. I tell him he can stop now because he has a lot of Cokes, but anyway, we're off subject. So yeah, I gave him um, a bath because I didn't want him giving my other cats fleas or anything like that, um, you know, since he had been outside and yeah, he's done pretty good. I, I can't even believe it. Um, he's pretty much Abigail's little baby. Abigail picks him up when she gets out of school and pushes him around in her baby doll stroller and her little wagon, horse trailer wagon. And for the most part, like, he lets her. He's not even buckled in, and he'll just, like, go for the ride. I think he's starting to kind of get a little aggravated with her. But for the most part, like, I'm telling you what, y'all. This cat is, like, so chill. <laughs> and loving he's pretty loving like he loves to be around people so yeah this is our i guess you could say newest cat even though we've had him for a while but he's officially living with us inside so yeah just thought i would let y'all know the change you gonna say hi say hi do you like being inside <laughs> It's a good life. <gasps> Shadow. Hi, Shadow. Show you need your blanket. There. I think he's mad. He will go in the first door. Hmm. Shadow! I don't, I don't think he likes he, he whatever you're doing. He, <laughs> he tried to paw you, Abigail. Oh, you're coming him? He's, no, he's not going to like that, Abigail. He doesn't like the bee. Ah! We're going for another straw. I think he actually enjoys that. Here, let me say hi to him real quick. Hey, Shadow. Shadow, look, he's looking up at you, like, lovingly. <laughs> Be careful, there's a bone right there. Going up sometimes. Like, I seriously think he enjoys that. Hey, everybody. It is Thursday, May 23rd. I hope y'all are doing good. 
So me and husband just came back. Well, I've been back a couple of hours to be honest, but I pulled, <laughs> we, we went grocery shopping. I think I mentioned that. Yeah, anyway, um, my brain is not working today. It really wants to go back to sleep. Um, but anywho, um, I'm gonna show y'all a grocery haul. This isn't all the groceries we got today. And we usually don't grocery shop on Thursday. The only reason we did is because tomorrow's the last day of school and the kids get out at noon. Um, so today was the, the day we went grocery shopping anyways. So yeah, um, this isn't everything. Like I said, I don't wanna pull everything back out of my fridge and reorganize it. But this is like, just what I'm gonna show today. So y'all seem to like the grocery hauls. So I'm gonna keep them in most of my vlog, most of the time in most of my vlog. So anyway, I'm gonna show you what we got from, I think most of this stuff is from Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna start over here. So my husband got a five pound bag of potatoes. Um, we, oop, this fell out. This is a hole. We, um, uh, Pen my daughter Penelope requested some apples. Uh, we don't get many apples. I really can't eat hard apples because of my teeth. Um, but she was really craving them, so we got some apples. We also got these mandarin, little baby mandarin oranges that me and Abigail love. Got Pop-Tarts. Got a half gallon of whole milk. And I usually get Hamburger Helper, but I got the off-brand of Hamburger Helper. I got Great Value Pork Cheese Lasagna. This just looked different and good. Um, and then my husband picked up these smiles, mashed potatoes, these little smiley faces. They're pretty good. And then um, my husband needed some new coffee pods. So you got this great value, extra caffeinated. Um, got these Purex crystals. I got these honey bunches of oats. I love that cereal, it's so good. We got some Great Value dishwasher packs. Um, my husband loves salmon, so I picked up some salmon. Got some romaine salad. I also got these reduced sodium bacon bit. I call them bacon bits. Yeah. Got some bell pepper. We needed floss really bad, so we picked up two floss. Um, we picked up some shrimp. Great value. Um, we picked up some hot dog buns. This is one of my favorite Indian meals that we haven't had in a while. Um, uh, but this feeds, this looks small, but it feeds two people. So me and Penelope will eat this. We got these great value filled pretz, these pretzels and it's got peanut butter inside. They're so good, y'all. We got some goldfish, caramel chili with beans. We got bushes, baked beans. The girls love those. My husband picked up two boxes of calamari. And then we've got some chips back here, some Ruffles Original, and then these great value potato chips. We like dipping those in our ranch dip. It is so good, you guys. Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome, it is Saturday, May 25th. I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday. Yeah. So, I'm just doing my ice roller trying to wake up. I woke up around 9, a little after 9, which was good to sleep in, but it was, um, I don't know. I just feel like when I wake up that late and then I got it, I had my coffee and toast for breakfast, and then now it's like 10.15, and I'm starting to put on makeup, and I'm wondering if, it, if I should just do makeup at all because I feel like it's already kind of late in the day. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Maybe gonna fill in my eyebrows. I don't know. So I just wanted to go over a few things before I end the video. Um, if you watched my Burlington haul, you saw that I got this a two pack of mascara. One is volumizing and one is lengthening. I don't even know what this brand's called. Beauty Moment Professional. So obviously it's not like a name brand. And, you know, I do give makeup a chance at these kind of places. I know at TJ Maxx, or was it Ross? 
I have found some good stuff. Or no, I think it was Five Below. I have found good makeup at Five Below. So I was given a chance to Burlington, but I tried, I used this twice. I gave it a chance. I didn't like it the first time. So I was like, well, it may have been just bad the first time. Let me just give it a, let me just give it a second chance. So I tried it again last week and it was just bad. It wasn't, it didn't go on good. It kept coming down and getting on my face. And so I want to show you how pitiful I always like a curved brush, although I don't think my new one's a curved brush. Um, but look how pitiful this is. That's look, it's just so it's like so bent, like so curved. Like it looks almost bent. Like it's just a really pitiful wand. And this one is the length. This one's a little bit better, the lengthening one. So maybe I'll keep this one, but um, this one is definitely going in the trash. So I was like, well, that's not going to work. That's not going to work for mascara for me. So, um, so I went out to Walmart and went back and I got Lash Paradise, um, L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which is, and I got it in black is black. And I think this is overall, in my opinion, I think a lot of you would agree a very good, um, great mascara, one of the best out there. So I got that. I'll be using that again. And then I also at Burlington had gotten a pack of lip glosses. I have, I think there were like five or six in a pack. I think I gave a couple to my daughter, so they may have it in their room. But the coconut one, I don't know if it's this, that there's, there's something wrong with it. Cause the main thing that attracted me to these lip glosses was they're supposedly scented, you know, or taste like whatever they say. This is strawberry, this is watermelon and this is mango and this is called NK makeup so once again an off-brand um and then I told my daughter Penelope I was like I don't think I really like these because I smell the coconut and I didn't smell like a strong coconut smell and so I just you know it turned me off and she's like she said she smells it so I kind of just makes me wonder in, as I'm getting older, am I losing my smell? Is my smell just not as good? Because some people, I think it may be a blessing, if it, but kind of a blessing and kind of not a blessing if I'm losing my sense of smell because um, the cats, you know, uh, well, the litter box, I mean, we try to keep on top of it, but every now and then, if you smell the urine or the poop, it's strong, and I don't really smell it. The girl And the girls will tell me that, Mom, they'll like, ooh, it stinks in here, and I won't smell, I can't smell it. So I'm just wondering, is it my nose that's off, or is it just these products that aren't good? So I'm gonna try to smell this again. This is watermelon. Mmm. I'll just put it here. Okay, I smell it a little bit. Let's see if I taste it. No, definitely don't taste it, but I smell it. So anyways, that was kind of a bust. I mean, yeah, it's still lip gloss. It'll go on your lips, but I was mainly buying it for the scent. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you about my makeup fails at Burlington. You just never, never really know gonna stick with the Lash Paradise. So can't wait to put that on. I don't even know if I should put makeup on because I know school's out and we're waking up a little um, later than usual. Yesterday was the last day of school. I don't think, like I said, I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday. Um, but I don't know y'all. Anyway, I hope y'all have a great day, great weekend, week, whenever I can, I'm able to get this video up because Oh, I just want to say thank you so much to the people that encouraged me on that last vlog to keep going because the last vlog I put up, because I had tried for a week to put that vlog up and I was just, I don't know what my, I don't have good Wi-Fi at my house, but I try to go places where there were Wi-Fi. It still wasn't going. And, but y'all, some of y'all encouraged me through Instagram and stuff to keep trying and I did. And I just want to thank you because y'all are the ones that keep wanting me to keep making videos. So, and thank you for the people, all people that watch it, but really thank you for the people in the comments too, because y'all are the ones that keep me going and keep me wanting to make um, YouTube videos. So, I might not always be like regular with the videos, but I still enjoy making them. So, 
Anyway, I'm going to go because I have to go to Dollar Tree and do a few things. And I will catch you all later. Have a great day. Bye.